Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a Porsche Cayenne and we'll show you how to uh, install trailer hitch. That one right there. Now, let me introduce you guys. We have more than 200 videos on this uh, Porsche, so please, guys, subscribe to the channel if you have one. Quite a few videos will be made. Also, we upload other vehicles, uh, makes and models as well, so check out the channel. Uh, now, in order to install that hitch, we'll need to remove the bumper cover, so stay with us. That's what we'll be doing now. Quite a, quite a, quite a bit of work because we need to remove uh, tail lights and all that stuff, so uh, let's go ahead, start on it, and in the meantime, after that, we'll have a video how to do a cheap wiring harness if you don't want to buy the expensive Porsche wiring harness, so let's start on it. So all the tools and parts that we use in the video will be listed in the description of the video below. First thing, we need to open the trunk. When we do that, okay, you can see the tail lights right here, they have two covers. Okay, plastic covers that we need to pull out. So, we're going to get a small panel removal tool or a small screwdriver. Okay, and try to pull those. There is, a, there is a place right here for a screwdriver on the bottom. So for a very small screwdriver, you can see how it's like that. You can stick the screwdriver, okay, right here. And pry the cap open a little bit. Perfect. One more on the bottom. And now this is a hex key. Probably five or six. Okay, so we'll need a five, five millimeter. And we'll go ahead and remove the two, two bolts now. I don't think they have been removed for a long time because you can hear how they squeak. Okay, perfect. Now you grab the light and you pull it out. There is a clip on the side holding a little bit. So never ever pry, just grab and pull straight out. Okay, the clip is kind of like right here. Okay, so if you get the prying tool a little bit, careful not to crack your headlight, go deep. Okay, right here, all the way deep and then pry, okay. If you pry with a screwdriver or something, you'll break your headlight. Even with a plastic tool, you have to be extremely careful. This is where the clip is and it goes right here. So now all we have to do is disconnect that wire here. Okay, and this one, I recommend to push in first, then push that thing piece back. Okay, and disconnect the wire. Okay, this is the clip right here. This is the piece that you need to push back and it's going to activate the clip. Okay, you can see like that. And that tail light is out of there. So next we'll need to remove that uh, tail light on the other side. Again, remove the two caps. In our case, we have only one. Somebody lost one of them. And remove the two bolts with the Allen wrench. Five millimeter again. And we need to gently pry it out as well. Okay, perfect. Let's grab it and see. Usually if you grab it firmly with two hands, it might come out. In our case, it won't because it's wet, it rain outside. Okay. This one came out. Disconnect the wire again. Okay, and pull the wire out. Okay, so now we're going to need a Torx 25 star looking bit, okay, like this one here. And we have two bolts on each side that we need to remove. One, two here. And two on the other side now. So now we need to go towards the rear wheel, okay, and right here 
We have a few balls that we need to remove, one here, two, three. Those are with the same tool, Torx 25. On the bottom one we will need to use the ratchet because we don't have so much room. Today will not be a fun day to work on that thing, everything's so muddy. Okay, the other two I think we'll be able to do them with the screwdriver. Okay, we just missed one right there. Okay, let's see if we have anything else. There is one more nut holding there, but I don't think we'll need to remove it. On the bottom, there is more. Okay, one more. On the very bottom underneath. Okay, like that. So, we're going to go ahead and pry it out. And we do that because there is one hidden bolt actually. In the corner where the bumper right there meets the quarter panel. So you can see the angle of the bolt like that. So we'll go ahead and remove that one now. Okay, perfect. That's what it looks like. So we're on the right side, the passenger side now, and we're doing absolutely the same thing now. Okay, that's what you hear on the camera, that's extremely windy outside, shop is about to fall apart. Okay, now we have that same bolt here, on this side now that we will need to remove. So we need to go ahead and pry that thing open now. Okay, like that. So if you want to see any specific videos, drop a comment below guys, we'll try our best to make a video for you. Okay, perfect, this bolt is out as well. So now we need to get Torx 30 and uh, we'll be using the screwdriver again to remove a few more bolts underneath the vehicle now. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, those are actually pretty, pretty tight and they have some corrosion as well on them. So eventually they'll come out, two on this side, two on the other side now. Well, we have a video guys how to clean exhaust tips okay, with Coca-Cola. So Try to find the video, you'll be fun, and you'll see how effective it is. Okay, this is the last bolt on the, underneath the bumper now. So now we need to pull those covers. Usually you have a clip here that you need to push in and then you replace it with a new one. Uh, in our case this one is missing, we'll show you what clip we'll use. Okay, and pull that cover out. Uh, we'll need to pull it out because it goes, okay, right here on the bracket and it's supposed to uh, come off the bumper so it's not attached to the bracket. Okay, same thing on this side. Uh, 
Okay, this one came out. So now you just grab it on one side. You have to, you have to have two people for that job. Okay, and you start pulling towards the back. Okay, here I need to get my fingers underneath. Okay, the fender liner. Slide towards the back. Okay. And the bumper will come out if you have the park assist. Do not pull too much because you will have to connect your wire, disconnect your wires. Okay, next we'll need 19mm socket and uh, we need to remove all together 8 bolts for on each side. So we can remove the crash, uh, crash support here because the hitch will go on top of it. Okay, one ball is out, they have thread locker. One more, that's why they don't come out so easy. Because they have the thread locker, you can see like that, so they don't get loose from vibrations. Okay, this one will be tight. So we will need to do this one by hand. Quite tight actually this one. Okay. And just one more on this side. You can see the cross support drop. on this side we need to do the same thing to the other side now here the bottom ones are a little bit tight Alright, perfect. We grab the cross support now. Gently pull it out. Okay, just like that. So in our case, we'll use the original bolts. I will recommend uh, check your instructions, see what it says, the manual for the hitch. Every hitch will be different. Uh, but uh, we'll be using the original bolts with thread locker. Okay, we're going to apply thread locker. So this is up to you. Uh, do not call me on anything we do here, okay, just for fun, but always double check the instructions that you receive with your, uh, with your hitch. Trailer hitch, okay. So now, all we are going to do, we will mount the hitch there and get the four bolts tight. So that thing is pretty heavy compared to the aluminum rail that we used to have. Okay, so let's center everything a little bit.
Okay. Perfect. We installed bolts on the other side as well. And now some underneath. Okay, let's pick it up a little bit to go up. Okay, so I can install the last one here. And uh, we're going to get everything tight now. You need to check the torque specs for all of them because different models will have different torque specs. So we'll be using the torque wrench now. You need to read your instructions because there is two types of bolts depending on which one we have. You have. Okay, we have our torque wrench set. You can check out where we got ours from in the description of the video below. And it's a click type wrench, so when it reaches the torque it's set at, you're going to hear the click. Listen now. Okay, that's it. So we did that to all four bolts on this side. Okay, and we need to do that, the same thing, to the other side. We re them twice to make sure that they stay like that. Okay, it will be any time now. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Now on the bottom. Okay, don't forget to install your foam piece if you have that because it supports the bumper really, really good. It might not work with all the hitch types on the market, but it works with ours. Perfect, just one more there. I won't waste your time because it's hard to get to, so I'll go ahead and do this one. So. Okay, next we need to cut the bumper so the hitch can fit on it. You can see this is the factory preset cut line, but we don't want to make ours so big if you only can follow this. We're going to go ahead and make ours a little bit small with the saw here. So, okay, let's do that now. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's why we made our uh, opening a little bit smaller. Okay, you can see because it fits great like that. So from that point on, we need to install the bumper in reverse order we took it apart. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out the video for the wiring harness and see you next time.